Good evening, everyone, and namaste. Welcome to the awesome Asana Yoga Studio. My name is Sana, and this evening you are here for our Free Flow Friday class. And this particular class is inspired by just instead of being a set flow, like some classes are Hatha, some classes are Yin, this class is going to be different each week. So each Friday, come in and join me as we go over a new flow. This particular flow this evening is going to be based on a sacral chakra. So we'll be focusing our, all of our energy and attentions on that sacral chakra. And tonight's theme is creativity. This flow would probably more be along along the uh, Hatha Vinyasa flow. So it's a little bit more of a with breath flow, a little bit more of speed, but it's nothing that anyone who is a beginner can't handle. So before we get started, let's just take a moment to get seated and drop ourselves into our class, setting our intentions for the evening. Just find yourself in a nice crisscross applesauce uh, position, spreading the flesh of your sits bones, getting nice and tall. Let's take a deep breath, grounding ourselves in this moment. Before we get started, before we set our intentions, let's bring our hands into the Dhyana Mudra. And this mudra is inspiration for creativity. And all you need to do is your left hand's on the bottom, place your right hand on top, right palm on top, and just touch your thumbs. And for here, you will allow yourself to grab hold and bring in the energy of the universe that supports our sacral chakra and our creativity. So let's take five deep breaths as we set our intentions and get centered before we start tonight. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth to cleanse. <laughs> And as we center ourselves for our class, getting ready and grounding ourselves, I want you to breathe in love. Every time you inhale, breathe in the love from the universe and the love that is coming from your fellow classmates and from myself. And every time you exhale, send love to someone who may need it, someone that you may know or even pick a random stranger. But breathe in love and exhale love. <sighs> Excellent. On our last breath, let's just remind ourselves our in, of our intention in this class to open up and to help in the vibrational energy of our sacral chakra, located just below the navel. <sighs> All right. And from here, let's release our hands from our mudra. And we're just going to take an inhale exhale and let's switch our legs around so whichever leg was on top just put it onto the bottom so my left knee will now be on the top as opposed to my right that way we can keep ourselves nice and balanced and let's begin we're just going to inhale sitting up straight let's exhale drop our right ear to our right shoulder inhale exhale sending that left arm out on an angle as we begin our nice gentle neck stretch From here, let's inhale that up, head up to the center. Exhale your right arm out to the side. Inhale, exhale, sending our left ear to our, our left shoulder. You can go ahead and help your head along if you'd like. Let's inhale, coming to center. Exhale, bringing that right ear to the shoulder, using the right hand to help along as well. Inhale, coming up to center. Last one on the left, bringing that head over. Let's inhale, head coming up to center. Last on the right, bringing our head over. From here, let's come up. We're going to start with some in yes and no, so let's gently start shaking our head no. From right to left, opening up our neck, muscles, waking up our body. Let's slow it down, bringing it to center. Let's nod our head yes. Gently up, facing the sun, down to a gentle neck tilt. Now let's
let's slow ourselves down, coming to center. Let's just begin a little bit by rolling our head to the right. Just making circles with your face. Slowing down, let's go the opposite direction. It's almost like you're drawing a circle with your nose. Excellent, slow it down, let's come to center. And placing our hands gently on our knees, let's inhale our chest open and up. Exhale as we're scooping ourselves back. And let's just do a couple of those with our breath. So inhale up, exhale through the nose back. These cat cows are just to warm up our spine before we get started. Let's do two more, inhaling. And last one, and close, excellent. This time let's bring our chest around to the right as we circle our torso, coming around. Exhaling as we're scooping, inhaling as we're coming forward. Let's do two more circles like this. And pause here. Inhale, come to the front slowly. Two more. Deep breath as we open up that spine, waking up our shoulders and slow it down, coming to center. I'm gonna just quickly, there we go. <laughs> From here, let's start to roll our shoulders up and back. Hmm. Slow it down here in the center and reverse back and up. <sighs> Slowing it down, coming to center. Let's inhale the hands out into a T. Exhale, we're gonna come bringing our arm over right arm. Inhale, exhale, helping the right arm come across the chest with the left hand as we hold, stretching our shoulder. Hmm. Let's take one more breath in this pose. And let's bring those arms back out to a T. And this time, let's reach our right arm behind our back, grabbing our wrists with our left. Exhale as we stretch out the front of the shoulder. Exhaling, let's bring our hands out to a T. Let's take an inhale as we bring that left arm across the chest this time. Exhaling as we help it stretch out with our right palm. Excellent, let's exhale, bringing that left arm behind us, taking, grabbing that wrist gently as we continue to stretch out the arm. Inhale those arms coming out to a T once more. This time, let's turn our body to the right, placing our left hand on our knee, exhaling, dropping your arms, coming into a twist. Let's hold this twist for two more breaths. Inhale. Let's bring our arms back to its E. Exhale, coming across. Twist it. Side seat, twist to the left. Inhale, let's come to the center here again. Exhaling, let's bring our hands to our lap. Hmm. Now that we're all warmed up, let's get started on our flow. 
Again, as sit, we're going to stay seated in easy pose. Let's switch our legs once more, coming to the top. So now whichever foot was on the bottom is on the bottom. For me, my foot was on the, my left foot was on the top. Now it's on the bottom underneath. And let's get started. From here, we're just going to take our right leg, crossing it over our left, inhaling our hands up to the sky. We're going to exhale, bringing ourselves into a twist, coming into Lord of the Fishes. And let's hold here for five breaths. Two more breaths. From here, let's release our torso. Exhaling our arms out to a T once more. Let's send our right arm up and down our back and our left arm down and up our back and clasp them behind, coming into cow face pose. And since we had our, our foot up for the Lord of the Fishes, go ahead and drop that down. Knees stacked on top of another, breathing into the pose. And as we hold these poses, remember to breathe into your sacral chakra. It's located right below your navel. Allow that energy to come forward and through as we expand our creativity. Let's exhale, release our cow face pose and our arms. Let's help our legs apart. And meet me here in tabletop. And from this position, completely yogi's choice, we're going to get into child's pose. This evening, I'm going to go with wide leg. Let's take a forward inhale as we stretch our lower back. Exhale, coming into child's pose. Let's hold here for five breaths. And let's inhale, coming up into tabletop. Let's inhale up onto our knees. Let's take that right leg, bringing it forward, placing it on the mat, bent. Let's inhale our hands up into the sky. Exhale, dropping our hips, coming into our low lunge. And hold here for five breaths. And remember, as we hold into our low lunge, don't let your knee track over your toes. Can't replace our knees. You want your knees and toes to go in the same direction and you, your knee is coming over your toe. Just adjust your leg so that you're opening up your hip. Don't forget about your back leg. Make sure we keep that nice and parallel to the mat. Wonderful. As we're coming into our last part of this position, let's inhale, coming up. Exhale, let's send our arms back, coming into that reverse lunge. I like to hold my variation a bit of a camel, but if you'd like, you can go ahead and just tilt yourselves back. <laughs> Keeping your balance, of course, coming into your reverse lunge. From here on our last inhale, Let's swoop our hands down onto the mat, curling that back foot, push up. Take an inhale as we're in this lunge here. Exhale, dropping that back foot, coming into warrior two. Hmm. Holding and breathing. Excellent. From here, let's turn forward, cartwheeling our hands on the mat. We're going to take a step forward, coming into our forward fold. From here, we're going to inhale, coming halfway. We're going to exhale down. Let's inhale, sending those hands up into the air. Bring our hands down into prayer pose. From here, let's inhale our hands up to the sky. 
Exhale, coming into our tree pose. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, we're going to send our hands down to the mat. Let's take a step back, coming into that plank pose here. Inhale, we're just going to come right back down to the mat. Coming up into our downward dog. Let's curl those toes, exhaling, sending our hips back. Let's walk the hips. A lot of fun, walking around the hips. From here, let's walk our feet up to our hands. The non-traditional flow, everyone. <laughs> and from let's start swaying our hips just a little bit too. We're finding new ways to be creative and be playful, opening up our sacral chakra. Sometimes we forget there are many, 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 many different ways to do different things. So this kind of a flow on a free flow Fridays, especially with the sacral chakra, I'm encouraging you all to think differently, to think creatively. So let's all slow down our hips, coming back to that forward fold. Let's inhale, looking halfway. Exhale, hands back down on the mat. Inhale, let's send our hands up to the sky. Exhale, we're going to come down into our prayer pose. And let's handle that one more time. Inhale, your hands up to the sky. Exhale, we're coming into our chair. Let's inhale, swan diving, coming down to the mat. Inhale up, halfway fold. Exhale, placing our hands down on the mat. Let's take a step back. Hold our plank here for a few breaths, holding it. If this is not in your practice today, go ahead and drop your knees. Let's hold here for two more breaths. And on the last exhale, come on down and let's come up into our downward dog. From here, let's push our hips back, coming into our tabletop pose. What? <laughs> From here, we're gonna turn facing each other Let's bring ourselves back into easy pose. So now we're turned seated facing each other. It's kind of fun, don't you think? It's always nice to have a traditional yoga practice put on its head. Sun cells are excellent for starting the day, but to do a yoga practice, you don't necessarily have to start with sun cells. Sometimes you can throw them in any other way. All right, from here, let's do the left side. Let's bring up that left knee coming across the right. We're going to inhale the hands up, turning towards the left. Let's cross, really helping our body stretch, coming into a Lord of the Fishes. Let's hold here for five breaths. Exhale, releasing our arms to center. Let's find our knee, stacking the left knee this time over the right knee. And additionally, bringing our left arm over and down the back where we take the right arm up and behind, clasping behind to meet for cow face pose. Just breathe gently as we allow our hips to open, cradling our sacral chakra. Remember to breathe, sending your energy and all of your power into your sacral chakra as we focus on bringing up our creativity, sending ourselves confidence. Remember to breathe in love and breathe out love to others as needed. And on our last exhale, let's release our arms, guide our legs to release. And let's find ourselves back into child's pose again. Yogi's choice. We're just gonna inhale, come forward, dropping the hips a bit like a frog pose. Exhale, pushing back, come into your child's pose. And this time, if you'd like, you can walk your arms up just a little further, coming into extended child's pose. And let's hold here for five breaths.
hands on our last. Inhale, let's come up into tabletop. Exhaling into the pose. Let's bring our left leg this time forward. Placing the foot on the mat. Inhale, let's send those arms up into the sky. As we exhale, coming into our dragon pose, which is actually the name for it. So if you're down this way, lizard pose. If you're up this way, dragon pose. And let's hold here for five breaths. Two more breaths. Remember to stay active and engaged in that back leg. <laughs> Exhaling. Let's release the pose a little bit as we straighten the front leg, just a bit. And let's take a deep inhale, sending those arms back, coming into reverse. I think I'll drop my arm down for this one. Reverse, dragon pose. Hold for five. Excellent. On that last exhale, let's cartwheel the hands down to the mat to hold ourselves steady. Curling those back toes. Let's push ourselves up. Inhaling your hands up into the sky, dropping that back foot. We're going to come into our warrior two. Feel the power of this pose. Feel your strength, your confidence. Really draw it in, drawing in your core muscles, making sure you're nice and aligned, keeping your active and engaged in here. Deep, breathe deep. Hmm. Two more breaths. We're holding. And on that last breath, let's cartwheel the hands down to the mat. Placing our hands on the mat, let's take a step back, coming into that plank once more. Take a deep inhale. We're gonna exhale, sending ourselves down onto the mat. Inhale, let's come up into a seal pose, which is just an extended, we're gonna extend our arms out just a little bit further. Holding this pose, exposing our heart. Let's hold here for five breaths. Breathing deep, exhale. And on that last exhale, let's push ourselves coming back into a wide-legged child's pose. <laughs> Breathing deeply. Mm. From here, Let's curl our back toes and push ourselves up, coming into that downward dog once more. Let's walk the dog again as we pedal our feet up and down, bringing ourselves to stillness. Let's inhale that right leg up into the sky. Exhale, just bring it forward, coming into a bird dog. Inhale, exhale, sending that right leg back up into the sky. Inhale. And let's exhale, dropping it down on the mat. Let's go ahead and pedal out the feet once more. And let's do the same on the left side. We're going to inhale, sending that leg up to three-legged dog. Exhaling up in that position. Taking a deep inhale, bringing our knee into our chest. Coming to a bit of a plank, an active plank. Exhaling, inhale, sending that foot back up into the sky. Let's exhale. Bringing the foot back on the mat, back into pedaling out once more. Excellent. Let's walk our feet to the top of the mat to meet our hands. Coming once more into our forward fold. Let's go ahead and grab our wrists and just slowly rotate back and forth once more. 
to open up that lower back. And let's in, slow ourselves down, inhaling. Inhale, coming up into a back bend. Exhale, down into two prayer hands. From here, we are in the middle of our mat standing. Let's take a bit of a step to the side, about double hip width distance apart. Inhale, sending our hands up into the sky again into a five-pointed star. Let's exhale, holding here in our goddess pose for five breaths. If you feel that fact that standing this way is a little bit tiresome on your legs, try moving around. I hope you're listening to music or enjoying the music that we're playing. Try moving to the music to help out. Moving your hips around also helps open up your sacral chakra as well. Get creative with the music and really feel it. Rotating to the front, maybe to the back. Let's take two more breaths. And on our last exhale, let's exhale, straightening out the legs, coming into that five-pointed star once more. Let's take an inhale, reaching our hands behind our back, finding them clasped. Exhale, let's come into that wide forward fold. And let's hold here five breaths. In our last exhale, let's gently release our hands, bringing them down to the mat. We're gonna go ahead and drop our hips, bringing our hands to our knees. So we're kind of squatting a la Gen uh, Johnny Bench or Malasana. Remember here, we're just gonna twist, inhaling. Let's drop our right shoulder to the floor as we twist, looking over at our left side. Hold here for five breaths. Holding into our goddess twist. Our sacral chakra is also very responsible for our sexual energy as well, which can also be a very feminine energy. Masculine too, of course. It's important to balance. Let's inhale, coming to center. Exhale, let's drop our left shoulder, this time looking to the right, goddess twist. Ooh. And then our last inhale, let's grab our, let's come to a center, grabbing our ankles, let's exhale, straightening out those legs, coming into our forward fold. And let's just hold here, relaxing the back of the legs we just held into the squat for about a good two minutes. <laughs> And if it's in your practice tonight, let's go ahead and take our hands facing them towards the back, maybe walking them a little bit to even come a little further down into your forward fold. If placing your hands on the mat is without your practice, you can go ahead and use a block. Holding here, trusting our breath, trusting our balance, opening up our sacral chakra. Let's walk our hands back to the middle once more, turning our palms, our fingers to face front. Let's walk our hands over to the right side and hold head to knee. Holding for five breaths as we're breathing. On our last exhale, bring your hands back to the mat and let's walk our way over to our left side. 
twisting, holding for five breaths. Let's release. Walking your hands back into the center. Let's walk our toes in just a little bit. From here, holding halfway, still in that wide squat. Let's inhale, drop our hips as we bend our knees, coming up into Malasana. Holding our hands in prayer pose. If it is not within your practice to hold this pose as it is, with your chest open and your legs high, go ahead and place a pillow or a mat or a flat book underneath your bottom to help with your balance. This is an excellent grounding pose. This also works the root chakra as well. Let's breathe into our malasana. Breathe in love, breathe out love to others who need it. And on the last exhale, let's bring our hands to the mat. And however you can safely get down, I'm gonna put my hands behind me. Guide yourself gently coming to the mat, placing your bottom down and find me needed in cobbler's pose or butterfly pose with the soles of your feet gently touching. What a hip opener flow, eh? <laughs> Don't be surprised if you start to feel a little emotional, a little angry, a little in your feels, either during, after, or tomorrow after this pose. Hip openers also often hold the gate, if you will, the key to our emotions. Using those hip openers helps unlock that. So from here, just relax, bringing ourselves centered again. Those were very difficult poses to hold. Let's roll out our shoulders. Mm. Rolling them forward, slowing down. Let's roll them backwards, really feeling ourselves. Let's bounce those knees in butterfly. Mm. Now let's take care of our hips and thank them for holding us in those positions, keeping us strong, staying supple and flexible. Let's help our right leg over to the side while we bring our left a little bit more into the center for stability. Now that we have our right leg free, let's grab it by the ankle and encourage our foot into the elbow crook of our left hand, and then wrap your right arm around your right leg and pull up gently as if you're holding a baby in a cradle. And we're gonna hold this for a few breaths, just gently massaging, going back and forth. Baby cradle pose. Helps to open up that piriformis, open up our hips a little further. It's, it's a different pose. It's not one that's used often, but it's a nice gentle pose. And move with your breath. Inhale to open, exhale to close. Feel free to just hold it as well. It's only within your practice. I like to really move it around. Take advantage of this. It's so nice. Breathing into that Seiko Chakra. And then our last exhale, slow ourselves to center. Let's gently help our right leg back down onto the mat. Now let's do the same for the opposite side, bringing our right foot, the ankles a little bit more in the center plane of the body. 
Let's help our left foot into the crook of our right elbow, bringing our left arm around the knee. Ooh, this one's a little tighter than the other. Let's hold here for half four, uh, but cradle, maybe cradle pose. Gently open up your hips, rolling them around. And best of all, breathing, even if you're just holding still. And remember, even if you can't get your leg up this high, that's perfectly fine. If you're holding it like this, that is a hip opener in and of itself. The purpose is just to move. As we hold this pose, let's meditate on one saying that I like to say to myself whenever I feel like a little challenge in my confidence. I like to think to myself, I am unique and I do not have to be anyone but myself. <clears throat> let's honor our unique wrists as we massage our hip and our sacral chakra class. <clears throat> And holding here, let's take our last exhale and gently help our foot back down to the mat, meeting our feet once more in cobbler's pose. <sighs> let's grab our ankles and take a nice inhale, opening up our chest once more. Exhale, bouncing out our knees. <clears throat> From here, inhale, sitting wide and tall. Inhale those hands up to the sky. And let's exhale, bringing our right arm, forearm down to the mat. Exhaling, coming into a side bend. And holding here, if it's within your practice, inhale and face your face up into the sky. Holding up that bend. Take our last inhale, coming up into the center. Let's exhale, bringing ourselves over this time to the left. Turning your face if it fits into your practice today. Let's inhale ourselves to the center, exhaling, dropping our arms. Let's help our legs open to a straddle. If a straddle is not within your practice, go ahead and pop your knees up just a little bit to help with the shortening of the extension. But let's keep our feet flexed, pointing our baby toes back towards our knees so that we can get a nice stretch on the inner leg here. Excellent. Let's inhale our hands up to the sky. Exhale as we turn to the right knee. We're going to just bring ourselves over and forward, bending from the, the waist, coming into that head to knee pose in a straddle. Hmm. And let's take our last inhale coming up, exhaling, coming to center. Let's inhale once more in center. Exhale, turning ourselves over to the left, coming into that head to knee. Remember to bend from your hips and not from the top of your arms. So it's more this than this. Gently. And pulling up out of the hip flexor as we breathe. Inhale ourselves up, turning to center. Exhaling, let's reach forward, coming into a forward straddle. Forward fold in a straddle. Adjusting as necessary.
let's inhale coming back up to seated exhale let's bring our legs together gently wiggling them out hmm. centering saying to ourselves i am unique i do not have to be anyone else but myself Slowing down, let's meet each other laying on the mat. Not quite ready for Shavasana just yet, but we are coming close. <laughs> let's inhale our hands straight and up overhead. Knocking over our water bottle is part of the natural course of being in a yoga class. Let's take a deep stretch as we inhale those hands up. Exhale, relax your body. Inhale once more, sending the hands up, stretch, 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 stretch. Ah. Exhaling, coming into release. Wonderful. All right, from here, let's bring our feet flat onto the mat. Finding ourselves onto the mat and grind, grounding ourselves. Let's make sure our shoulders are nice and glued onto the mat, upper arms as well. We're just going to place our hands flat next to our body. From here, we're going to come into bridge breath. So we're going to do inhale coming up, exhale coming down. And we're going to do that uh, four or five times and taking a breath and do that once more. This also helps with opening up the sacral chakra as well. And it feels really, really nice on that lower back. So let's inhale, rolling our pelvis up into the sky, pausing for a moment as we hold our bridge and exhale coming down reversing vertebrae by that time pelvis is last to mat let's do that for four more breaths inhale coming up pausing for a hold exhale rolling down inhale coming up pausing for a hold exhale roll it down two more inhale rolling up Pausing for a hold, exhale, coming down. Last one, inhale, rolling up. Pausing for a hold, exhale, coming down. Let's inhale deeply, exhale, extend the legs. Let's come up onto our forearms. Let's inhale, rounding the chest. Dropping the head, fish pose. And let's hold here in this heart opening. And this is another time when we breathe, breathing in love, exhaling out love to those that may need it. Let's hold here for five more breaths. our last exhale let's push ourselves up into seated once more exhaling up inhale let's send our hands up into the sky and exhale as we bring ourselves forward grabbing our ankles into our forward fold remember to bend from your waist not your shoulders and hold and breathe And on that last inhale, let's inhale, coming up to center. Exhale, let's lay back on the mat. Bringing our feet up once more, flat onto the mat. Let's get prepared again for our bridges, gluing our upper body to the mat. Let's glue our, fore our upper arms to the mat, bringing our hands down to the side. And remember, scoop and inhale as we come up. Exhale as we come down. Let's do it for five. Inhale, coming up. 
briefly hold. Exhale, coming down. Four more. Hold. Then down. Last two. Last exhale, rolling our hips down onto the mat. Let's send our legs out in front of us. And this time, instead of coming into our fish, let's bring our right leg back up into our chest. Inhale, it's pulling it tight, 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 tight into our chest. Let's exhale, crossing it over the left leg, coming into a lying twist. And if your practice allows it, go ahead and turn your face to the right. And on our last inhale, let's inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, sending that right leg back to the mat. Excellent. Let's inhale this time the left knee up into the chest, pulling it tighter, tighter, tighter as we bring in a deep, 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 deep breath. Once you think you can't hold it, exhale, drop that left leg over the right, coming to our leg twist. Remember to twist your face as long as it's within your practice today. Let's take that last inhale, bringing our knee back over to center. Exhale, placing it down onto the mat. And I think we have one more time for one more pose before we come into our corpse pose. And this is one of my favorite poses and I'm so tickled that I get to throw it in class today. <laughs> Let's bring our feet again, once again up to the mat. Let's come to almost as if we're in our tabletop pose, but on our back. We're going to grab our big toes, sending our knees into our armpits, coming into a happy baby, opening up those hips and really, really expanding that sacral chakra. And this time as we breathe and hold our happy baby, let's breathe and hold, thinking about expanding that sacral chakra and sending our creativity out into the world. And let's think about ourselves and how you beautiful uniqueness and our confidence. Think how wonderful we are as people in the world and how wonderful energy we bring. Every time we go anywhere, any of us, you, me, anyone, how we bring energy to a space and how important that may be. <sighs> really relax into your happy baby. Be a happy baby. Play with your feet. Play with your legs. <laughs> Let everything go fun. Just hold and breathe. Really opening up those hips. Fair warning, tomorrow may be a doozy. <laughs> Emotionally, at least. But it's all for the best. You have to feel your feelings so you can get a handle on them. Take our last inhale in this pose. And as we exhale, let's release, sending our arms and legs to the mat, dropping them open, allowing everything to come to the mat as naturally as can be as we come into our Shavasana, end of pose, corpse pose. Before we get started, let's take three deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth to center as we get ready to ground ourselves at the end of this class.
And if you haven't already, go ahead and flutter your eyes shut. Focus on your breathing. At this point in Shavasana, I feel that often many of us begin to drift away, thinking about all the million thoughts that we have running through our mind, and that's perfectly normal. All I invite you to do is bring your attention back to your breath and your breathing. Remember to breathe in all of the love and energy that's coming in from the universe and breathe out love to someone else who may need it.
And before we come up from our Shavasana this evening, I would like to read to you from 365 Tao Daily Meditations. Today's post is on vantage. Distant ridges, faraway clouds, all events come from a distance. With a high vantage point, foretelling the future is elementary. It is often superstitiously said that one who follows Tao knows magic. This is nonsense. Superiority is simply a matter of using the best of one's abilities and being in the right position. For example, a wise person who lives high in the mountains and who is not blinded by wine, sensuality, intellectuality, poor health, or greed will be better able to see events in the distance than one who lives in a closed room, eyes on some obscure project. A storm does not happen abruptly. It takes hours, sometimes days to develop. Travelers do not arrive suddenly. They can be seen in the distance. Knowing things in advance is, a possi is possible with a high vantage point. For this reason, the follower of Tao appears to know magic. And with that, let's begin to invite movement into our bodies by wiggling our toes, wiggling our fingers, rolling out our ankles and our wrists, rolling our shoulders, moving our legs. Let's take a deep inhale. As we exhale, let's turn ourselves to the right or to the left of our bodies, holding ourselves in that pose for just a moment, cradling. And if possible, with eyes closed, help yourself up into easy seated meeting me here. Let's inhale our hands up to the sky, exhaling, bringing them into prayer pose. And if you haven't already opened your eyes, please go ahead and do so. Welcome back and thank you very much for joining me this evening on our free flow Friday in the Asana Sena Yoga Studio. As always, my name is Sena. I hope you had a wonderful flow with me this evening, and I look forward to seeing you all next Friday here at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Let's see, what is that? Three hours, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as always, be the light that you wish to see in the world and see the light that you wish to see in the world. Om Shanti Shanti. Have an excellent rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you again. Good night. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Bye, guys.